Uh, hello everyone, today I want to present you our new program Simple Preflop Hold'em. Uh, Simple Preflop Hold'em is a poker solver that uh, allows you to solve equilibrium on the preflop uh, for the defined uh, tree of bets and uh, for the defined input ranges. Uh, the main difference of simple preflop hold'em from the simple postflop that it could be used for any number of players. Uh, so you could specify select uh, from 2 up to 10 players. Uh, on our website you could uh, download the program. In the free version you could just see the interface of the program or open uh, solutions. Uh, also, you could find on our website uh, the the main characteristics of the program. Uh, the price of, of the pro for the program is three hundred fifty dollars. This is a standalone license with local computations, and it could be used for two PCs. Now let's uh, go. To, let's open the program and see its interface. That is how uh, it looks like. Uh, so the interface looks similar to simple post flop. Uh, let's see how you should work with it. First you need to specify the stacks of the players that uh, you want to include in the calculations here. 3000, 3000, 2000. Then you need to specify bet sizings that will be used in the game. You could uh, create uh, your custom bet sizing. Here you specify it, then you click save, input name, and then save it. Then you could use it. Uh, and then you could use it from, from the drop down list. After you, sp you specify stacks and bet sizings of the players, you also need to specify the ante and the s size of small blind and big blind. Uh, after you fill these fields, you need to click apply and the tree of the game will be generated. Uh, the game tree will be generated in a way that there will be only three way past flops that goes three way spots that uh, that goes to the post flop. So if you, for example, uh, cut off bets, uh, but then call as back call and there is no call big blind because it will be four way uh, spot on the post slope. However, you could add it manually. It, it is supported by solver, so uh, you, you could add nodes uh, and solve uh, multi-way spots uh, for any number of players. After the tree is generated you could uh, edit it, for example delete some bed sizings or add some other bed sizings. Uh, when, when the tree is built uh, you could uh, launch the calculation. Uh, when you try it when you try to launch the first calculation, uh, you will get such message. It means that you need to, initial, to initialize data that is required for calculations. You need just to click OK and wait uh, some time uh, after the data will be generated. You should do it only once. I will stop this process because in another folder I have already uh, the program that where the data is already generated. Let me launch it. 
so here it is uh, let me generate a very simple tree uh, and solve it when I click calculate uh, first uh, I see uh, the settings menu for the calculation uh, so what we can see here uh, uh, here you specify uh, the number of buckets and sub buckets that is used for calculation buckets and, and sub buckets is a kind of abstraction that is used in the solver uh, it uh, groups uh, uh, your hands in clusters on, on, on different streets flop turn and river uh, in clusters according the equity of the hand so the default values for buckets and sub buckets uh, you can see now uh, 34 30 for 31 uh, you could change the number of buckets uh, but uh, you could still use these default numbers they are quite good uh, the other thing that uh, influence on the quality of the solution and that influence on, on the required RAM for the computation is uh, texture, texture textures abstractions here you specify uh, how many textures uh, will be used for clustering for example uh, if you here specify none then uh, all flops will use the same clustering for hands if you use perfect then every flop will have own Clusterization for for the hands. So the best, uh, the lowest level of abstraction is when you specify perfect, perfect, large. But you see that such computation requires more RAM than if you use high level abstraction. After you, for the example, let, let me choose small small. Then you need to specify the algorithm that will be used for the calculation. Uh, we recommend to use the default one that goes first. There is no significant difference between the algorithm algorithms and it is hard to say which one will be better on in which one will be better for each tree then you need to specify the number of threads that will be used for the calculation uh, we recommend to use uh, all of the threads that is available on your PC but uh, decrease it by one so that your system will work stable during the calculation then you need to specify the number of iterations of the algorithm we recommend to use here the number uh, that will uh, lead to to make the number iterations divided by nodes more than 100 so now it is just 89 let's specify 500 iterations it is more than 100 this number and this this number of iterations is okay the more iterations you specify the more accurate cal calculation you will receive in the end here the option of saving strategy after the specified percent uh, it means that all the results that you gain during the calculation under the 30% uh, of the calculation progress will not be saved and that they will not influence on the 
final solution. You could just uncheck this option and the calculation will be okay. Or you could uh, specify some low number. This also is applicable. Uh, this option synchronize, synchronize calculate means is used uh, is recommended to use uh, when uh, the process calls the same uh, space of RAM at the same time so we recommend just not to check this option and in the end you need to choose which model uh, you will use during the calculation chip EV, ICM or rake uh, rake is specified rake cap specified in the ch in chips uh, in ICM you need to specify specify the payouts after you choose the model you just click OK and the calculation will start uh, if you don't have an activated license you will see such error I just click OK go to file license menu and there I will activate license key Now we have activated engine and we can run the calculation now. Let's see how it will work. Here we can see the speed of the calculation and the progress let me stop it now we will receive uh, an here I checked save strategy option that is why my uh, solution was not saved let me make the calculation more simple and, rest and restart it now if I stop it even after 1% of the progress I will see the solution So now we receive the solution. We could uh, see it uh, in the matrix uh, for them and in the table. This interface is the same as in similar uh, as in simple post flop. Uh, you could show here stacks of players or Nash EV you could also change uh, shows for matrix for example EV show play show and uh, strategy show you could also apply rounding option for the solution now you see that hands the percentage of play is rounded by the chosen number also you could save the solution and open it anytime you need it so that is all what i want to tell you today about this program thanks everyone